Hello, Mixtresses and Mixters. This is Mixtress Ray, and you're watching Mixtress Video. Decided to do a quick um, altar tour. I have not given you one of those yet, I don't think. And I decided to just sort of, I kept my room as is, like I didn't dust anything, I didn't like prepare anything. I'm just going to show you how it is. Um, so this is like my stereo room, as I call it. I've got my stereo set up, which we won't linger on. There's Kali. I've got my cool little, basically my altar is anything that's in like this half of the room um, over by the windows over here. Through here, that's my office space. So let's just close that door. Kabuki. So um, that little um, singer sewing table right there is where I sit and do what I call my tarot studies every night. Um, and then I've got my little tarot wall over here. And this shelf here, I'll show you up close all this stuff here in a second. Should have turned that heater off, right? But I just so spontaneous. I'm just like, I'm just going to do this. I want to show off my altar. This beautiful shelf my Michael made many, many years ago. And then over here, again, this is my, uh, where I keep on the bottom shelf, I keep all of my like tarot books and stuff. All my witchy tarot astrology, my tarot journals are all down there. Um, and then on the top shelf, those are all my Oracle decks. And I'll get more into all of that in a bit. But let's go ahead and just go from left to right. I'm going to turn this heater off in here. I have all these plug-in heaters because our house is 100 and almost 115 years old. So it gets very cold in the winter. Okay. So I'm just, this is just my view at my little tarot table. So right now, my current practice is I always have my Isis Oracle out. I'm going through each of the cards. So I put my card of the day at the end of the day. I put it back in the box, and then I shuffle what's left because I'm going through each one. So I only have like 10 left. I have my little statuettes that to me represent, I always have something that represents maiden, mother, and crone. Um, I pretty much never change out my mother and crone. Like it's always Bast in the crone position. It's always Tara in the maiden or the mother position, which I also think of this Tara. I've sort of supplanted her with Kali in my mind, even though that's a Tara statue, not a Kali statue. I just recently picked up this awesome, um, Kali Saint Candle at um, Spirit Halloween store. That is a representation of the Empress card from the Spirit Halloween store tarot deck, which I do not have. Um, and then this, my maiden, is this little statuette is Helena from Orphan Black. So I always have like somebody I would consider a warrior in the maiden space. Um, sometimes I put my little Buffy pop figure there. It's usually a pop culture figure that goes in the maiden space for me. Um, and this little rose is from a cemetery. I've got my coaster there. Hula girl coaster. I've had that for a million years. Million, 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 million. I've got my little singing bowl back here. Sorry, I'm doing like the whole handheld thing for this, which makes it a little jumpy. I've got this beautiful agate that I got in a goddess provisions box of Kali. Kali's my main girl. Kali and Bast have really become the two most important goddesses to me. And this Bat Bast figurine, I don't know if I've ever showed you her before. Probably I have at some point. I've had her since I was... I think I was still a teenager when I got her. 
And then typically what I do is I have two different Oracle decks that I have propped up here um, and I change those out weekly. And um, just depending on what I feel like focusing on and then I'll have my tarot card of the day propped up on my little lamp here. So I'm using, this week I'm using Archetypes by Kim Kranz, Modern Witch Tarot, and Mystical Shaman Oracle. And then I've just, you know, I've got little rocks everywhere, of course. I've got a little pot of perfume next to Bast because she, um, it is said that Bast enjoys offerings of perfume. And I always have in this little stand here, labeled month, my card of the month. So my card of the month of... November is Page of Swords, and I'll take that card from whichever my tarot deck of the week is. And then I have my little Ouija board here. Basically, it's just my surface to um, do a card layouts on, or if I'm journaling, I'll put my journal down here just to have a nice hard surface since my table is covered with this lacy material. It gets kind of stuck if you shuffle cards on it and stuff, so this just provides a smooth surface, plus it's a Ouija board. Um, some of the things that I have here, this is, is it onyx or obsidian? I don't know how to tell the difference, but it's one of those. I think it's onyx. This is Apache Tear. This is Labradorite. This is some other black rock of some kind. It's got white striations on it. That is a fluorite tower. That is lava stone. This is, oh my god, this is gorgeous. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh yeah, you can. This is a fluorite heart that is absolutely incredible. My house is pretty dark, so most of the time I don't see how incredible that is, but I know it's incredible. I just got this little divination stone from um, Children of Letha Lady, Alexandria Huntington's website. So it's got a moon on one side and a sun on the other, just like the yes and no on the Ouija board. So I love this. Um, then I've got my Labradorite heart. It's a really big one. Labradorite is like my stone. I just can't stop buying it. Like every time I go to like shop for crystals, I'm either buying Labradorite or fluorite, honestly. I've got this little Mistress of Power, super old, from Posset's Perfume. It's a very strong, powerful fragrance. So I just like use the tiniest little drop I might like rub on my hands or something while I'm sitting here. And I've got Palo Santo and incense matches. My other matches are just right there so I can grab them from here on that shelf. My um, This is just the rest of the Modern Witch deck right here. I have wrapped in this beautiful cloth I just got from Goddess Provisions. And this is an aquamarine I also got in the Goddess Provisions box, the most recent one. And this is my journal. My journal is a mixtape. <laughs> they came with these little labels that you could stick on the side and write whatever you wanted on there. And a couple of pins. So this is just my, oh, of course, my lava lamp, which is usually going by the time I sit down at night to do my tarot studies. So that's basically my little tarot table. Now I can show you the, oh, underneath, I guess. That little train table box is, um, train table box, <laughs> train case, is that what you call it? Um, it has all kinds of different witchy supplies like backup candles and incense and tarot bags and some rocks and stuff that I don't really keep out that I'll probably end up giving away to people. Just all kinds of stuff in there. And then in this little box, we have, um, the boxes and guidebooks to all of the current decks that I'm using so I can easily grab them while I'm sitting there. And then here is my altar shelf. So I'll go top left to right, top to bottom. And here is just, okay, I need to position this so I can, okay. Is it like focusing at all? There we go. 
Um, I just got this in the Goddess Provisions box too, this little holder for a lighter. It's really cool, makes it easy to grip, makes it really fun to use. I'm not really in that into gold, but like I'm being Stockholmed, guys. I'm getting into gold because everything is gold these days. Um, and then I've just got some random like extra cards from tarot decks and stuff that I use as bookmarks or whatever. And I've got this little guy to carve sigils, symbols into candles whenever I'm doing candle magic. And I also just use it to like, sometimes you got to poke at candles, you know, <laughs> sometimes you got to do use this to pick old wax out of things. You know, it's just a nice little tool, <laughs> just a little wooden stick. And scissors, and I've got hemostats, because um, you never know when you're going to need some hemostats. What else is in there? And then just some, this is just some Nag Champa incense, just if I need to grab something real quick and I don't want to pick something. There it is. This is just a bunch of like little oils and things that I've gotten from various like subscription boxes and stuff. And this is a Drusilla perfume from Etsy. That is, it's a lot of different types of mint. So I like to use it as kind of a cleansing spray. In fact, let's, let's spray it right now. Let's see if I can do this one handed. It's got like, it's a weird combination. Like it was supposed to be a perfume and it's a weird combination for like a perfume. Cause it's like a bunch of different mints and like jasmine and stuff. But I do like it just as like a room spray or something like that. This is, you know, where the incense happens. This is this awesome little incense holder that my friend Brandon made me like, like right after high school or something. It's got a hair sticking on it. There's hair everywhere in my house, dog and human. <laughs> um, this is my like athame is that how you're supposed to say it mostly I use it to poke at candles because if I do any magic it's candle magic I just love candles I burn them all the time and yeah this gorgeous smoky quartz cluster right there and I've got these little I think they were like at um at like uh valentine's day these were out at target several years ago i've got right now i've got a uh, some slayer ness happening here we've got buffy and faith guarding my little selenite tower and it's got like a little color changing stand thing and back behind that, there is, um, it's a slab of wood that somebody found for me out on a walk and it kind of looks like a steak. And at the time I was like researching what you should have on your altar. And one of the things was a wand. So that is my wand. <laughs> Even though I don't really use it for anything, it just stays back there. And then I've got some pixie dust and catnip and this little cluster of a whole bunch of different rocks there's smoky quartz huge regular clear quartz um celestite my shiva lingam so this is obviously heat treated citrine but i think heat treated cit citrine is pretty <laughs> and also you know fire is a big element for me so heat treated doesn't necessarily upset me and this is a little piece of porch. Um, my mom's porch was purple when I was growing up. And um, after the tornado destroyed the house, we took little chunks of the porch with us. And then this is where like almost all, in fact, all of my tarot decks, except like ones that I have currently in use or ones that are in my purse, they're all on the shelf. So this top box is just a box that has ritual candles in it, um, spell candles. This is my Marigold Tarot. This is Moonchild. This is that um, box of matches that I just have at easy grab from when I'm sitting at my table. And I've got a little stand to hold a quartz crystal. And I've got a scrying mirror under that, 
which I don't really do scrying yet, but I think it's a pretty little mirror and it came with a ritual box from Tamed Wild. This is gorgeous amethyst cluster candle holder. I don't burn it for very long since it's under this other shelf. It's tall enough and it's a small candle that like it's not going to really set anything on fire if I burn it, but I still get a little nervous and I like walk by it every once in a while and feel the shelf. Okay, yeah, it's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. Let's blow the candle out. <laughs> this is a beautiful little piece of um, a vertebra of a deer that I found in the forest. And it's got my Labradorite sphere sitting on it. And it's just a little bell. Don't know where that came from. This is, um, these are all... Um, it's mostly lavender, but it's also got like a little bit of mint in there, I think, and some rose petals and stuff. This is all like dried herbs and flowers that I have gathered myself in this particular jar that I use for different things. This is another beautiful little amethyst cluster. Down next shelf, we got Children of Letha and Santa Muerte Tarot. A little amethyst chunk too there. Um, this perfume bottle is filled with Florida water currently. I don't really use it from there. I use Florida water in a spray bottle, but um, there's the backup whenever I need to refill my spray bottle. This is just a little iron cup that um, this is actually more empty space than I would like to have. <laughs> But um, my collie, my cat, my familiar, she, that is where I put my water for my altar. I have this little jar down here of moon water and I um, fill it and she drinks it. <laughs> so that's, that's our process. She'll come and she'll just like prop her legs up on that little empty space there and just like look at me until I fill the cup and then she stands there and drinks it. So that's why that space is empty, so she can stand there. <laughs> this is a little, um, I don't know, meditating dude that an ex of mine made when we were in high school. Um, and then we just have more decks here. So this is Beautiful Creatures Tarot in this purple velvet. This is Tarot of Cat People in this gorgeous um, purple handmade from a friend pouch. And then, of course, you can see... Nicolette Ciccoli, Dark Angels, Dream Keepers Tarot, and here is Moon Power Tarot. This is just a bunch of little rocks. And this little guy is cute. He lights up. And changes colors. My mom got him for me. I think he's from like Frozen or something. He's from some kind of Disney or Pixar thing. I don't know. I just think he's cute. Oh, I guess we are going left to right. So I already showed you this is my moon water and I have more of it. I just refill this jar every time. I did just vacuum a couple days ago. So don't think that this is like disgusting down here. I mean, it's just, I have a lot of animals. Okay. This is a jar of hair. Mm-hmm. Um, from friends and my Michael. And I think some of my hair is in there too. Just because. Why not? For some reason, I kept people's hair for a while when they discarded it. <laughs> um, it's mostly dreads that I kept. And then I think I have like a braid of mine that I cut off at one point. Um, I just keep them in there. And then we've got Shadowscapes, the box for my third edition of Wild Unknown Tarot. The cards are actually out. They're not in there. Um, and then the cards are not in the Modern Witch because I'm using it this week. This is just a cute little teapot that actually matches this little cup. And that's what I use as my cauldron. So if I'm ever burning sage and things like that, I usually, or if I'm burning the herbs from that jar, I usually put it in there. And I've got a book underneath. It's like a, it's a witchy spell book, but I don't really, I really just make up my own spells. I can't really use someone else's spells. 
so I don't really end up using it but it's so pretty and it's a good resource for like it lists like all different kind of herbs and what so it's a nice resource if I ever like suddenly find myself having like if I wanted to look up since I have that catnip like what is catnip used for you know besides making cats crazy I could do that it's just got a lot of good basic information in it and then I've got Muse Tarot Dreams of Gaia and that little jar is full of these are all um artificial flowers that I have gathered from cemeteries um, and just so you know, like if that kind of makes you prickle at the thought that I'm stealing flowers from graves, I am literally stealing flowers from graves. However, what I do is I will, if there's like a big bouquet or something, I'll like cut off one of them kind of like in the back or something like that. Um, I find these flowers to be very magical. I don't really do anything with them besides just have them in this jar and I think they're pretty. Um, but when I first got them, I like put them in a little ritual bath and scented them with oils and um, it just, it felt like I was having some sort of sacred experience sharing with the dead, even though they weren't people that I knew. And I was doing it in a way that, you know, I wasn't trying to wasn't trying to take anything from them. I was just trying to share with them, if that makes sense. Um, so hopefully that doesn't offend you guys too much. And then these are just a couple of dinosaur statues because I love dinosaurs. <laughs> so we've got Parasaurol a Parasaurolophus on the right. And do you call, I mean, is that an Apatosaurus? I think we decided that Brontosauruses weren't real. Is that true? I don't know. Anyway, that is my altar shelf. So I guess we could go ahead. This is where Kali spends a lot of her time. <clears throat> Let's say hi to Kali for a second. Hi, baby. She's like, fuck off. This is my nap time. You know this is my nap time. And why did you turn the heater off? <laughs> okay, so let's just do a quick... Um, it is noon. Now you guys know. Not a secret. This poison ivy painting was done by a coworker. Um, this is the backside of the original of my last zine. I didn't end up doing any issues beyond issue 10 and that's July 2014. That was the last zine that I made. And I've got like a cool vortex walking stick we call it because we found it in santa F is it santa fe that has the the vortexes i don't know i think in new mexico we got Kali right there in the corner we've got the postcard size print from children of letha's hermit card that i just tacked up there i should probably frame it it would look more professional if i framed it but I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of a trashy bitch. I usually just like tack things up. <laughs> anyway, so I love this shelf. I just recently got it. It's just so cute and small and it was exactly what I needed. And I found it at a thrift store and kind of had to clean it up a little bit, but it's good. So I've got another little singing bowl here that I usually use this little spoon to hit because I didn't like the mallet that it came with. And then I've got another little saint candle back there that's a spider web. Halloween is every day for me. Um, and then this little holder back there holds incense and my candle lighter because it gets to a point where you have to use that kind of lighter in order to light saint candles, and I like saint candles a lot. And then there's a little... This is my... Um, spell candle holder so when I'm doing like specific spell candles that I'm going to burn all the way down I use this holder this box is actually really rad I wish my mom were here to explain to you what it all means but it's um she made it I think she was in high school when she made it 
and this top part is like the end of the journey like it's like a step process where like every side of the box has a meaning like if you look at this side it's like you know there's the path through the forest and if you look at this side you see a person walking up a staircase it's like a whole thing she told me the whole story once and I was like oh my god that's amazing <laughs> but I don't I'm not gonna like get it out because I don't have two hands but in any case there's a whole story involved and enlightenment is the end result of like you're going through a journey and she gave it to me when I a few couple months after I started getting obsessed with tarot so that I could put tarot decks in it and it's all it's all nice and padded on the inside which is cool So I have in here, this is my Marigold Altar Cloth. And this is my um, first edition of Wild Unknown, which is my favorite tarot deck pretty much. It's definitely top five, definitely top three. And then I've got this cool little box that holds the my vintage edition of Smith Waite. So right now, that's kind of the, I haven't really decided what I'm officially going to keep in this box since it's so special. Um, but right now I, I like the idea of having like a couple of my favorite decks in there and this altar cloth, which is very special to me. So I could fit a couple other things in there. And of course I could just take, every time I open this, I'm like, really? I've got a box inside a box. Like, so this is not the permanent place for that. I think I'll probably just have the cards out. Um, but right now that is where that is. So there you go. Um, I guess if you want to look at all of my Oracle decks, these are the ones that aren't currently in use. I do also have a couple of decks in my little office space because I have, I have a little shelf there for um, my supplies that are, well, I, could, I guess I could show you guys that too, because those are my supplies for when I do readings for others. And that's all my like witchy books and stuff. Hiding back behind there, I think. Is it back there? No, it's not back there anymore. I actually don't know where it is. I have a Thoth tarot deck too, but I don't use it. So it's not really out. In fact, I think I have it hidden in a box somewhere. Um, and then I have that keywords of the Crowley tarot if I ever want to actually learn it but I just it keeps coming back into my life like I keep getting rid of it because I don't really like the artwork that much and I don't like the organization of the court cards in the Thoth deck it's just not I'm a Rider Waite Smith girl I just am okay so let me show you the lighting's gonna be better in here because there's a window so this is I don't know if I've showed you guys this before. I know I put a picture of it on my Instagram, but this little shelf right here, this little portion of it right here is my, um, just having like basic supplies ready to go if I'm going to do a reading for someone else because I always do it in here. Um, so if you want, I have an Etsy store. It is um, etsy.com slash mixtress tarot. And um I don't have to use the decks that are here, but most of the time I'll pull a goddess card from the goddess oracle. And then I've got my Smith weight in a tin ready to go. And I've got my wild unknown. My wild unknown is kind of the best um, deck to use for others I have found. Just it's the best like if you don't really know, you can use that one kind of thing. I've got lighters and candle holders and spell candles back there and I've got Florida water and rocks and I'm just ready to go. So if you ever want a reading from me, I always do a spell candle. I'll burn it all the way down um, in that little star candle holder. Um, so each person, each reading that I do will um, get some spell candles and candle magic in your reading so yeah i hope you enjoyed this weird little altar tour i will see you guys next time bye